Hello everybody, this is Psychosis Theory, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of The Awakening, a Sherlock Holmes adventure. If you hear some squeaking in the background, that's my chair. It's old, and yeah. I was going to do Pier 2, but after record trying to record seven times and not getting it correct, uh, the recording correct, I've had, I know that game front and back, so it wouldn't be any fun watching me play it. Don't worry, I will get to it. But just give it some time. This I'm putting in place of it. So, um, I did play through the first part, so I know exactly what to do. But this game is outrageous. I mean, I'm not talking it's going to, you know, edge of your seat. But I'm talking you have to know what you're doing. So I'll just go ahead and start it so you don't have to listen to me blab. Yes, yeah, start a new game. Go away, you swan! Leave, or I'll make you bleed! These all came from the swamps. Could be toting contraband. Rose! Help me! Do not fight the calling! <laughs> Blood! I beg of you, Holmes! For time! Relive your blood! Oh, no, no, it, it can't be. It can't end like this. Uh, again, this nightmare haunts me. It won't let me forget. I'm assuming that's Holmes. How did this all begin? You'll understand why I'm confused in a moment. For those of you who don't know, Sherlock Holmes is a fictional character. He's basically a detective who has solved some of the most baffling cases. You know, um, he is all his assistant, Doctor Watson, is a uh, doctor, medical doctor. Of course, that's uh, anyway. He usually assists Holmes and. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you have heard of him, but just in case you haven't. Uh, he lives on Baker Street. And there's Dr. Watson. 221 Baker Street. Here's the man himself. Good morning, Holmes. Looks like a typical London day. Fog in the morning, fog in the afternoon. Ah, and here's a surprise, fog in the evening. Good morning, Watson. Can you imagine? I have been at it since 5 a.m. and I scarcely think my list of patients for the day has even been touched. What is more insufferable, I haven't even had a moment with the morning paper. They say the minister will assuredly... Holmes, whatever is the matter, you haven't heard a word I have said. It is the tedium, my dear Watson. Life is ordinary, the papers are lifeless. Any hint of audacity, and dare I say, romance has vanished from the criminal world. Holmes, it is only temporary. You know perfectly well that sooner or later an exceptional incident will occur in London or thereabout which cannot rest till the talents of Sherlock Holmes are called into play. Then it will be up to your agile wit to set things right, which should satisfy your constant need for mental gymnastics. I hope the heavens hear your words, Watson. I hope they do indeed. I must take my leave, Holmes. I have an appointment with a rather odious man, Captain Stenick. He is apparently in a state with near tachycardia due to some problem involving his manservant. Why don't you get out for a brisk walk, Holmes? 
perhaps buy a newspaper or visit that fellow Barnes over on Glentworth Street. You might remember him, the bookseller. He has some new volumes of the particular sort that should occupy your mind for a time. Sorry if the game was bleeding through on the mic, I didn't plug in the headset. Alright, now there's two ways to play this game. Well, I mean, views I should say. You have third person, which was rare, where you see homes, and then first person. I personally prefer this, because otherwise you'll be clicking, making them go over here, and it's a hell of a lot faster just to have them move. And sorry for all the lag, it's fraps I'm using to record. Alright now. You pick up a box of matches from there, and that's basically it in this room. And this game does use a lot of textures. You know, like instead of food being on that plate, it's a textured plate. And another sneaky thing they do is this door you can open, and it's his bedroom. Now this door... Oh, I thought it was a texture. Okay, it's an actual door. But you can't open it. There's a violin. Holmes and some of his books is... A noted uh, violinist, pretty good too. Uh, most items in his home are relics from uh, previous cases. Like, see right here, here is a door that's a texture, it is not actually a movable door. And you'll get, uh, like, the hand icon so you can interact with it. The strand! The strand! Buy the strand! Right, I'll buy the strand. Creepy little child. Strand! Strand! Buy the strand! So, my young friend, what is the news? Nothing of interest for the great detective, sir. Those old stuffed shirts ate up half of London at their big scientific to do, and some Candace Navy up princess is driving the locals wild with curiosity. A Scandinavian royal is in London? If you and the lads can look sharp and find out more about her visit, there will be some coin for your pockets. Why right no, Mr. Holmes? If there's aught to be found, the Irregulars will have it. I'll send the words out to the lads. It is necessary to keep my informants in fighting form. Alright, now, I personally think, after playing the game a bit, I consider Holmes, he may be a genius and may be good at finding cases. I think he is a horrible people person. And there is a lot of reading in this game, so I'll try and, um... There, basically, I'll sum it up for you because I've read it. A uh, scientist said that there will be a rare celestial event where seven... Either stars or planets will be in line. Um, the princess that's in town, the only thing they have in the paper is that... She... Let's see... Um, let's see. Okay, a guy, I guess a man. I guess uh, one of the British guys that was a diplomat over there disappeared. A guy at the lighthouse dis uh, died. Now it's going to his nephew. A strange fish was fished out of the lake or whatever. Uh, the Thames. It, but it was actually a uh, wig dyed red. And it, the production company was going under that owned it. And all most of their uh, actors have gone to alcohol. Um, I didn't even, let's see, Dr. Alotosis Licorice Resin Strong Gum. Does this sound familiar? Your wife, your wife has fled with the coachman from the neighborhood. Your eighth canary has just expired. Even your plants die when you draw near. Yes, these are all familiar signs of maldurant mouth vapors, commonly known as foul breath. But what do you do to, but what to do to enjoy again the healthy pleasures of bachelorhood while keeping enough money to play... The ponies, Dr. A. Lotosis patented resin strong gum is your hope for a better life. 
based on a secret formulation of licorice, molasses, resin delicately extracted from the Japanese furs. This natural gum settles on the teeth, keeping the mouth neatly closed, flittering the breathe and giving it a nice aroma. Filtering the breathe, sorry. Keep those roots sniggers. You'll have a smart smile thanks to Resin Strong. One shilling for three boxes. Risen strong, find your smile. And basically this says there were some thefts in Paris. Sorry for that long thing, but another thing, those kids run off 